As the Australian ATV Motocross Championships rolls into its 14th year, we have seen epic battles, jaw-dropping crashes, and international races all competing for the title of the Australian ATV MX Champion. In 2015, we come to the heart of Australia where the ATV racers from all over the country assembled to Alice Springs for the first time in what will be one of the most epic championships Australia has seen. Four Style Media brings you the 2015 Australian ATV Motocross Championships. We welcome onto the track the Veterans Class. This class is sponsored by Complete Angler. We have a total of 10 riders competing this weekend from all corners of the country. Moto 1 for the veterans about the star. And gate drops. Who's got the early charge? Looks like Andreas Anderson. He's got the early charge, but 45. David Lloyd cuts on the inside. He's going to make the whole shot stick there. Can't quite see through all that dust. Looks like Andreas Anderson may have got it in the end. So as we come into the first turn, looks like Andreas, yes, he's still in first place out there. David Lloyd in second. Darrell Knight in third. And of course, these jumps don't scare the old boys. They're still out there and they're ripping hard. And we can see that looks like Darrell Knight on the outside. Side by side, David Lloyd and Darrell Knight go along the back straight. Darrell Knight, looks like he's made the move in the second there. Well, hang on a second, that's David Lloyd out in front. So there's been a big switch up here, and that's Gavin Forsett in second place. So, real big switch up there. And Darrell Knight in third. Andreas Anderson in fourth. That's Craig Pierce in fifth. So now Darrell Knight is trying to get around the number 23 machine of Gavin Forsett on the inside. Darrell Knight goes. And does it stick? Yes, he does. He made the pass work. Over the tabletop. But Gavin Forsett is trying to fight back a little bit. But Daryl looks a little bit too quick. We cut a little bit further back into the pack. We see that uh, Kevin Davis on the Suzuki 51 trying to get a tear off off his hands. Michael Cruden just behind him on the Honda 700. That's David Lloyd out in front. Second, Daryl Knight now. And third, that is Gavin Fawcett on the 23 Honda. So Craig Pierce comes to the start finish line. That's Brad Gerrity just behind him. And then Kevin Davis just behind them as well. So, oh, Kevin Davis looking, looked like he, don't know what, sure what happened there, but he backed off a little bit. But Craig Pierce holding his position very well, liking the bright colored uh, riding gear of his. Looking very stylish. And, oh, hang on a second, looks like Brad might be catching Craig Pierce here. So we come to the back corner. And Brad going through the whoops now. So now starting to build a bit of a gap in between Kevin Davis there. Where actually it looks like Kevin Davis might have even got around Craig Pierce there. So not too sure what happened. But Ack out in front, David Lloyd. And this is Daryl Knight side by side coming into the first turn. Daryl Knight, not quite. David Lloyd just holding on. Gets a big air off that jump. So coming to the back section, of course. We cut forward a little bit and we see David Lloyd's now starting to pull a little bit of a lead in front of Daryl. David looks like he's kind of trying to hold on for grim life almost. Daryl, look, he's just putting the power to the ground out on the outside now, trying to get that power to go around. He's shortened the gap massively. So we come into the turn here. On the inside, he's going to do the same move. Oh, maybe touching tires there, but David just holding on. As we come towards the step up jump. And Daryl, is he going to shorten that gap coming on this turn? It looks like he may have done just fractionally, but is it going to work? We go into the back section of the circuit. Coming to the start finish line, David Lloyd, is he going to win the race? Yes, he has. Only just though, Daryl Knight right behind him. So brilliant racing there from those two riders. I'm sure David will be very happy with that win. Of course, Daryl, maybe not as happy, was hoping for that first place. And the third place here looks like you've got Gavin Fawcett. So confirming this in the results, that was David Lloyd out in front. Second place, Daryl Knight. Third place, Gavin Fawcett. Fourth place, you got Bradley Gerrity. And in fifth place, you got Kevin Davis.
So here we go for Moto 2. The five second board's up. And the gate drops. And who's going to get that jump into the hole shot? That looks like David Lloyd. He's trying to follow up with his previous moto. And look who's there once again. That's Daryl Knight in second place. Andreas Anderson in third. And then being closely followed by Gavin Fawcett in fourth. So in this moto, we cut forward a little bit. We see Daryl Knight has to fight his way past Andreas Anderson, who managed to get around him. And we see Daryl Knight only just makes his way around Andreas Anderson once again. And he holds into the second place position till the end of the moto, as well as Andreas holding on to third as well till the end of the moto. And David Lloyd once again came out with a convincing win by over 20 seconds in front of Daryl Knight. So he's looking like the man to beat this weekend. So rounding up those Moto2 results, see David Lloyd won the second Moto by over 20 seconds. Second place, Daryl Knight. Third place, Andreas Anderson. Fourth place, Gavin Fawcett. And in fifth position, you got Kevin Davis. Okay, so now I'm down in Daryl Knight's tent and he's also known as Bullet. He's ridden Fink eight times and he's actively competing in championships all the time. So Daryl, how do you feel about the track today? Uh, yeah, it's really good. It's, uh, it's an interesting track. It's, it's long, it's got a lot of fast sections uh, and then they come into deceivingly tight bits as well. So it's quite frustrating. You're, you're always getting too much speed and then having to ditch it for some tight corners. So good track. Have you seen a lot of this sort of track in your time? Um, oh, they're all, uh, different states seem to have different balances of tracks and uh, this one, a, a track of this type I haven't uh, seen, no, it's just a lot of variety out there, a lot of technical stuff, some of the jumps are big perfect ones and some are sort of backwards, so it's, yeah, it's a lot of, lot of technical variety. So Daryl's coming second in the Vets class this year, so how are the Vets racing against you this year? Um, vets are always a struggle. Uh, when, when, when you get old and experienced, you're, um, they're, they're just hard to get past. So they know how to use the track. So having a bit of trouble with David Lloyd, uh, he's uh, been lucky. We've had a few uh, spins and stuff like that in the class and David's managed to pop up in first and I've been uh, yeah, running around right on his tail trying to get past and, and rubbed a few tyres, but we're also pretty friendly in the vets class too. So no takeout moves, but yeah. Frustrating being right there, but just can't get him. Going to pass him tomorrow? I, we've got, I've got three more races tomorrow, so I need to get past him in, in three races. So yeah, that's my aim. Is there anyone you'd like to thank today? Uh, yeah, definitely. My sponsors, Can-Am BRP Australia, uh, Adam from Quad Squad, and Ostracar as well for the Fury tyres. Alrighty, thank you for that, Daryl. Right, so here we go with Moto3, and the gate drops once again. Who's going to get that whole shot? It looks like David Lloyd, but he's very closely followed by Gavin Fawcett there. And it's too close to call. I would have said Gavin would have got it. So good riding there by Gavin. Hopefully he did, but he only gets just overtaken by David Lloyd once again. So David Lloyd already out in front. Second, you've got Gavin Fawcett there. So we cut a little further to the race. We see David Lloyd is now starting to build a little bit of a lead, but he's still got close attention by Daryl Knight there. In second place let's see if he gets around him so another great little battle building between these two riders once again and we cut forward again once in the race we see David still holding on to that very short gap in front of Daryl Knight but Daryl Knight just looks like he's got more aggression behind his riding and we come to the finish line we see David Lloyd was able to hold on to that first place so we see David has won Moto3 in style. Because when we cut to the results, we see David only just beat Daryl Knight by 1.8 seconds. Third place, Andreas Anderson. Fourth place, Gavin Fawcett. And fifth place again, we got Kevin Davis. So the gate drops. And it looks like Daryl Knight might have the whole shot here. Yes, he made it stick. Oh, hang on a second. We've got a bike down at the back of the pack here. Not too sure who that is, but we cut forward. 
We see Daryl still out in first place there. That's Cameron done well in second now. Andreas in third. Just behind him is David Loy once again. So I wonder if David's going to be able to make it past these two riders in front of him. But we can see Daryl Knight already starting to pull a big lead in front of the pack. And looks like Andreas Anderson's made this move into second place. Cameron done well. Whoa, falling back now to fourth already. David Lloyd making the move too easy past him. So Andreas as we come through the whoop section. Holding on to second in front of David Lloyd. Can he hold on to it? Those, oh, look at Medicine going through those whoops. But it looks like David Lloyd side by side as they come to the turn. Still side by side, but David just edging him out. Coming into the tabletop there. Too easy. But Darryl Knight... Looking very aggressive once again. He knows he's got to keep the speed up because this guy right behind the David Lloyd's knocking on the door. Andreas Anderson, Gavin Fawcett in fourth now. Cameron done well in fifth. And that's Kevin Davis in sixth. So Daryl Knight doing a fine job on that can am once again. David Lloyd, as you can see, just behind. Andreas is now under pressure from Gavin Fawcett in fourth place. So there's battles going on everywhere, and we see David Lloyd. Again, trying to make up ground on Daryl Knight, but Daryl is just pulling away, unfortunately, for him. And David is, and Dave is going to have to settle for second here as Daryl Knight takes out the win very convincingly on his Can Am. This is a great job by this rider. So when we cut the results, we can see Daryl Knight has indeed won Moto Four. Second place, David Lloyd. Third place, Andres Anderson. 4th place, Gavin Fawcett, and once again, Kevin Davis in 5th place. So the final moto for the veterans. 5 second boards up, the gate drops, off they go. Who's going to get the whole shot? That looks like Daryl Knight in the 912 Can-Am. Yes, he's got the whole shot. And that is Andreas Anderson in second place. So the championship could be on the line here, and that looks like David Lloyd making the move into fourth. So now he's going to try to get around Cameron, and he does it very easily. It looks like Gavin's going to make the same move. Yes, he does. He's in the fourth now. David Lloyd in third. So Lloyd knows he's going to have to charge towards the front if he wants his championship. Looking very good through those whoop section. We cut forward a little bit and we see Daryl Knight is keeping that consistent gap between him and second place. So Daryl certainly wants this championship. Looking very smooth out on that bike. But the question is, is it going to be enough for the championship? We're not too sure at this stage. Of course, Daryl Knight with the no visor on his helmet is known to be called the bullet. And we come back to David Lloyd. He's still charging hard, hoping those efforts are going to pay off and bring, him, bring home the championship for him. And so when we cut to those Moto5 results, we see Daryl Knight certainly won this race by over 15 seconds in front of David Lloyd in second. Third place was Andreas Anderson. Fourth place, Gavin Fawcett. And in fifth place, we got Kevin Davis. So when those results have been all tallied, we can see David Lloyd has just done enough to make it into first place, but only three points in front of Daryl Knight in second. Third place, Andreas Anderson. Fourth place, Gavin Fawcett. And in fifth position, you've got Kevin Davis. Daryl Knight or Bullet. I uh, just finished the last Vets race, so it looks like I've come second for the event. That was uh, pretty awesome. Uh, David Lloyd made it really hard for me, and he put a lot into the event to make it a really cool event. So if you're going to get beaten by one guy, he's the guy to get beaten by, I reckon. Um, but the track out there is just unreal. It's one of those tracks we're just going to, riders are going to talk about for the next year and just, oh, you know, this corner into that jump and that sort of thing. So 
They did an awesome job. Uh, we're in Alice Springs. It should be dusty as sin. Uh, it's uh, nah, it held up really good. So awesome event. Had a great time. See you all next year. Yeah, how are you going, David Lloyd from the uh, Vets class? Uh, came first. Uh, yeah, it was a good uh, good weekend. Uh, everybody had a good time, and uh, the other competitors were good as well. I'm just thankful that they were a bit slower, a lot slower than me. <laughs> got a few. Oh no, I got one whole shot award, so that was nice. So we get to take a bit of money home. But um, but no, overall it was a really good event, and the track uh, the track held up well, and we were all surprised. So I think. Uh, we're expecting it to break up and get really dusty, but no, it was pretty good at the end. So, thankful to uh, Alice Springs Motocross or Motorcycle Club for all the work they've done. They've done a great job, and you guys coming around as well and promoting it and uh, doing everything we can for quads in uh, Australia. So, yeah, it's been a good good event. Yeah, yeah, my daughter, she got second in the women's, and she loves cameras. <laughs> so, uh, she did well as well. She got four whole shots, so she's even uh, richer than I am, so she's done really well. <laughs>